Hi Sagittarius, welcome to a message for you for June 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. If this is about a person, this could resonate with theirs or your moon rising or Venus sign. All right, Sagittarius. Hold on a minute here. I'm gonna adjust something to make sure I'm not obscured. Hmm. All right, Sagittarius. A message for, not the message, not just one of many, I'm sure, but um, a message for you to perhaps give you that extra oomph. All right, Sagittarius. What you need to know. Ace of Cups, well, that's, okay, there's your reading. <laughs> there, you're good. <laughs> Nine of Cups, yay. Temperance, that could be Sagittarius. Page of Swords, Justice, that could be Libra. And Page of Pentacles, nice. All right, so. What's this night? You're okay. You're just sitting pretty, aren't you? Whoopsie. Is this Nine of Cups? Well, this is lovely. This is lovely. You finally get to be happy, huh? This Nine of Cups, because it's been a little bit rough. <laughs> Sagittarius, the Fool, wow. Okay, things have turned around for you, yay. You get to be happy, and, and just because it's new, it's not scary, right? I mean, it, it can be both. You can be happy and scared. <laughs> What's this Temperance about for Sagittarius, because there you are. Six of Pentacles, nice. What's this page of swords? All right, let's not go whole hog here. What's this page of swords? The devil, that could be Capricorn. All right. What's this justice card for Sagittarius? Could be Libra. Four of cups. This page of, so you got two pages and we got kids involved, huh? Okay, so there's some e uneasiness here. What's this page of Pentacles? Judgment, that could be Sagittarius, Capricorn, no, Sagittarius, Cancer, or Scorpio. All right, so, okay. Is this, um, are we talking about kids here? Are we talking about custody of kids? Are we talking about an interview, a job interview? Somebody's making a decision based on either your earning potential this could be a new job. This could be a court decision about your kids. So, because um, we got judgment, we got justice here. Mm, could be talking about court decision here. Something, um, de dealing with something legal here. So, this is you needing to lay low until, because we got temperance, we got judgment, we got four cups. We, mm, this is about you is that once a decision is reached, you get to be happy, but staying the course until that decision is reached? Yes, it is. Do nothing, no communication, no, you wait and let it take its course. This is not the time for you to be over involved or pursuing something or kind of dogging at something. You lay low, you've done your due diligence, you have happiness waiting for you, but this is the time to, you've done what you've done, now is the time to coast. It is out of your hands. Um, it is not, something for you to pursue. Whatever it is, you will know the the decision soon enough. But this is not, now you get to kind of coast and just enjoy in the meantime. Um, because it, and it doesn't involve, <laughs> enjoying in the meantime does not involve you still kind of pursuing whatever it was that you've made, that you put out there. Whatever you've got in in motion right now or whatever you've said or done, leave it because it is up to the other person or entity to reciprocate. And you'll have an answer soon enough. So you've said your piece, now leave it. Um, it feels like two things going on here. It feels like there's a job. Um, and then it also feels like perhaps, again, you're waiting for a court decision about kids. And this is not about you returning back to be the peacemaker or to work anything out. This is you standing your ground and not communicating with whatever that situation is only for what is necessary. This is about letting go and 
kind of taking that reprieve that you need. This is not about revisiting old to make nice. Leave it alone. This is, you will have a decision soon enough with whatever is already set in motion and then we've got happiness coming. Look at this right here. Like that's a great way to start off reading here. <laughs> Nine of Cups, the Fool, and Ace of Cups. And then we've got um, a new beginning that you're adjusting to after a decision's coming. So you've done, now is like laying low. And you need to trust that it's going to work out and be the best for all concerned. You've done your due diligence. And it's, that's that. That's that. And then what you're going to do then in the meantime to, to in the meantime, right, to, I hate to say kill time, but to keep yourself busy is you're going to, there's probably going to be work involved. Maybe if there isn't work, it's about you keeping yourself busy or um, keeping yourself active. This could be waiting on a decision from work and you're not in work, you're not working. But whatever it is, you need to keep yourself busy because there's kind of a pull to revisit or to re, like to go over kind of something that's already set in motion. You don't need to mess with it anymore. So make sure that you're able to keep yourself busy so that this sort of downtime doesn't turn into you kind of reestablishing contact with something that's just not good for you. You've already cut it off. You've already um, set it up for your future success here and to come into a clearing you don't want to, um, yeah, you don't want to mess with that and reopen anything. So good is coming. You just got to kind of hold on and it could, it, it looks like it's going to be um, favorable. It's going to be what you want. Whatever decision you wanted to come about, you just have to wait for it. They're still deliberating or it's still playing out, but we've got... Um, Perhaps this is a new relationship and you're dealing with somebody that's got to kind of wait until a legal process is over, but you've got, it's coming. You just have to wait for a little bit. It's not for you to chase after or do, you're just going to have to be on standby until you get that decision. This was going to jump two of pentacles, adjusting to a new normal, perhaps after you get a decision, wouldn't that be nice? All right. Whoopsie. What else for? Let's see, Sagittarius. That's for Sagittarius. King of Wands. There you are, Sag. King of Wands. Chomping at the bit. So this is about you. You set something in motion and it's going to pay off. You just, there's a waiting period here. It's not about you pursuing it any further until um, you get that decision. Whatever the decision is, it's going to be a favorable decision for you. You're going to be very excited about it, and it's going to allow you to do or be where you want. That's for Sagittarius. So yay for that. That's a good June, huh? Golly, that came, that's come up a lot here. Uh, intention. So stay the course. No changing. Keep your focus. Keep doing what you're doing. No more, no less. You've got a decision coming, and you will... Um, be able to do what you've been planning to do, what you've been wanting to do. Not too shabby. Oh, maybe I should put this in here so you can see that. Can you, yeah, okay. That's for Sagittarius. I know that's loud. <laughs> that's for Sagittarius. Okay. Two of Cups in limbo, Ace of Cups in limbo. Are you waiting? Then we got the Ace of Cups right here. Normally I would turn them clockwise, so this would be upright, this would be. Mm. So is this a divorce? Is this you waiting to hear for custody? Is this you not being able to pursue what you love because this is still being worked out? Or you're waiting on someone to work out their stuff before you two can pursue? Um, it involves something that you love. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be work. It could be a home. It could be, you know, family. But uh, what I mean is it doesn't have to be romance. I can't remember if I said that. Uh, so that is in limbo until a decision is you're you're notified of a decision in the meantime this is just about you staying the course you've laid the groundwork you're good keep the focus and keep your best interests prominent and keep yourself active so that you don't kind of go back and nee. okay all right sagittarius much love to you thank you for stopping by i wish you a good june um your three kicks to butter <laughs> there's i can't remember if i told you I think it was Libra. Okay, all right. So the story goes: three kicks to butter. You can you can click off here. Good, good June to you, <laughs> um, unless you want to hear a story. Real quick, 
there was a frog fell into a butter churn that was full of heavy cream and he started to, to drown and he couldn't get his bearing and he started flailing and cart flopping and panicking and his friends started showing up and looking over and saying keep going keep going keep kicking because the more he kicked the more solid the cream became and the more he could kind of get traction and kind of start keep afloat and not drown and then the wise old frog finally comes up at the end my grandmama rose told me this story um keep going your three kicks to butter which means the difficulty that you were in um, has actually worked to your advantage because you didn't quit. You kept your focus, you kept your, you were dogged about your determination and lo and behold, it turned out to be a jumping off point for you. So three kicks to butter. Okay, <laughs> okay, Sag, um, happy June to you. Much love and I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.